So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my class. And I'm going to run on down to Reports. From Reports, I'm going to choose Student Roster. And here you can see all of the lists of the, you can see the list of the students. I'm going to choose Format, and I, I want this to be Excel. I do not want it to be PDF. This is important. Make sure it's Excel. Then I'll go back to Criteria and run the report. So now I have a student roster Excel spreadsheet. So if I open that up, you can see that I have my class list in an Excel spreadsheet. I will enable editing. Now one of the problems here is that the first name and the last name are in the same column, and I don't want them that way. I want the first name to be separate so I can make a name tag for them that says Brennan or Sydney. So I'm going to highlight that column just by clicking the top of the column. And then I'm going to go on over to Data. And from Data, I'm going to do Text to Columns. And it's going to tell me that, hey, it looks like there's commas or something that's delimited uh, separating your bit of data here. So I'm going to click, uh, yes, that is correct. There is, it is delimited. Uh, now it's asking me, how is it delimited? And um, we have commas in there. So I'm going to select commas and hit Next. And now I want it to be just like this. So I'm going to move along and hit Finish. And it tells me that there's already data in column A. And that is OK. I want to replace it. It's going to put the last name in the first column and the first name in the next column. There. So now I have in column A, I have the uh, last name. And I can change that. I'll just type, I'll just type last. And over here, I'll type first. I can put other stuff in there too, like uh, or uh, instrument, whatever I want to put in there. And I can resize all those columns. And uh, if I want to, I can make them all uh, bold faced. Uh, Control B will do that for me. There. All right, I'm going to save this. And it's saved as student roster report and today's date and time. And now I can open it up in Google Sheets. To open this up in Google Sheets, I'm going to go to this little nine dot grid over here, click Sheets, and open a blank sheet. Give it a second to work, and then go to File and Import. Uh, I don't want to import anything from my drive. I want it to be an upload. So I'm going to select a file. And I know it's on my desktop. And I'm going to go all the way down to, there it is. There's the sheet I made. And I'm going to have it replace this blank sheet. So let's import the data. And there it is, the exact same sheet that I made in Excel, except here it is now in uh, Google Sheets. So let's say I want to print my name tags. And let's say I just want to do a first name name tag. So in order to print these labels, I have to do a mail merge. So in order to do that, I have to open up a Google document. So I'll go Google. And instead of opening Sheets, I'll go to Docs. OK, same procedure. I'm going to open up, here's a document. And I'm going to get an add-on. So the add-on, this Avery label merge, I already added this. Um, but to do it, it's pretty simple. You go to Get Add-ons, and it opens up this page. And you search for Avery. There it is. That's exactly what I did. So you would hit Download, and it would install. So then that's going to be one of your add-ons. So Avery Label Merge, there it is. So you can do this now, uh, New Merge. And you select what your product is. So I have uh, some address labels here. And the address labels that I bought at Staples are these uh, 5262s. They're 14 labels per sheet. And I'll hit Select. OK, so choose a spreadsheet. And I'm going to take the one that I was just working on, this untitled spreadsheet. I'll double click it. 
and I have the instructions over here in Google Docs and the spreadsheet is open back here. So these are the fields that I entered in the untitled spreadsheet. All I want is the first name. So I'm going to click on that and there it goes. So I can now, if that's all I want, here, how about this? I'm going to do, I'll put some text in there too. I'll make it go make it look like that and I can do a fancy font if I wanted to I can go italics I can go big and then here's first name so I'll adjust the font of that as well I'll adjust that to be big make it a little bigger and we'll choose a different font how about we do that a little bigger we'll center it there so now I'm gonna do merge creating my document and open let's have a look there it is so if I print all these out right now it's gonna say hello my name is Brennan I have all my sheets right here so I'll load my printer with the uh, Avery labels and I can print away